Can you imagine that? Serious. Why? Just because you want to have fun. Grow up. Grow up. I dare this school not to tease another person for the rest of the day. I dare you. I dare you. Do you think that's possible? People say, well, I won't do it, but everybody else will. Be the change you want to see. And you be that person and turn them around. This school should have every person having a friend. You see somebody having no friends? Why don't you go up to that person and be their friend? Because you're scared of what people think of you. Let's do it. Let's wake up. Embrace it, man. Let's live. I love my life. Nothing stopped me. Am I, am I happy all the time? No. No, I'm not happy all the time. I'm not happy. I cry sometimes. Not because of no arms, no legs. This is easy. I'm talking about the things in life that I, I that other things, man. I'm like stressed about and anxious about it. The, the person that I love, they're hurting and I can't do anything about that. That, that's what kills me. We're all going through something. We're all trying to find that something, that happiness. You can find it. Because I found it. Check this out. You need to learn something. Do you know for you to learn something, it was actually learned by somebody else? And anything that anybody else learns, you can actually learn. Makes sense, right? How do you know this is black? Because someone taught you it was black. Why? Because someone learned that this was black. And you were able to learn that this was black by someone teaching you. Nothing's really beyond your reach. You understand what I'm saying? But we're not all good at math. We're not all good at athletics. We're not all good at, you know, maybe telling colors. Big deal. Find what you love to do. I love loving people, man. I love encouraging people. That's the greatest thing. The greatest business in the world, saving people's lives. Love it. But we're not all going to be speakers. We're not all going to be doing something. That'd be crazy. What do you want to do in your life? Is there something more to your life? Because I found something more to my life and I believe it's God and you're on your own journey. It's fine. I love you guys so much. I love you very much. Choices are yours. I made a choice to keep my virginity until I'm married. Could proof beyond words that my wife was worth waiting for. Do we make wrong choices? Yes, we do. Are there consequences for bad choices? Yes, there are. And I can talk another half an hour on consequences on drug, sex, and alcohol, but I'm not here to lecture you. I'm not here to say not to do drugs and not to do all that stuff. Look. But don't believe that you know everything either. What, won't, what I don't know won't kill me, right? That's what they say, right? That is stupid. <laughs> how dumb's that? Let's say I've got a brain tumor and I don't know it. Is that going to kill me still? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Idiot. Of course. Look at me and my life. I've made choices and this is how I am. This is where I am. And I love it. You know what's cool? Sorry. Just getting a seat organized. <laughs> That's better. Put my feet up, you know. <laughs> I want to talk about my wife. I'm not married. I don't know who my wife is yet. Right? It's okay. I know she's coming. It's fine. She's coming. Just because you have no boyfriend, girls, it doesn't mean you're not beautiful and that you're not loved. You don't need a boyfriend. You don't need to use your body as security to make you feel that someone needs you. My wife is coming. And I may not have hands to hold my wife's hand, but I don't need hands to hold her heart. And that's all I want to hold. 
I'll tell you, a real man would wait. A real man would not put your life in danger if you're not 100% sure that you're going to be with, together for the rest of your life. That's why I haven't had sex because I don't know who I'm going to marry yet. Why sleep around with everybody else? It's so silly. Why? Just for temporary pleasure? No, man. It's beautiful to know I've only shared that with my girl. My girl. And I'm her guy. I love that. We're going to have children together. I know that. And how am I going to hug my children when they're crying? I used to get depressed over that. What kind of a father am I going to be? Check this out. There was a girl. She's so cute, man. You know, one of my friend's daughters, and she was, you know, two and a half years old. She had this pink flowery hat on, pink shoes on. She was about my height as well. And she came and she was hugging everybody goodbye at this family function. And she comes to me, and she's, I'm sitting on the floor, and she's just looking at me, and I'm like, cool. She's just staring at me. I'm like, okay, what can a two and a half year old honestly be thinking about? Like, this is so weird. And she was looking at me for about 25 seconds, and then she realizes something. Like this little light, bing, you know, came to it. And she realized that I had no hands to hug, so when she came up to me to hug me, she put her hands behind her back. And she hugged me with her neck. I know! Isn't that more beautiful? It's so beautiful. Why am I here? To tell you this, that I love you. That everything's going to be okay. Not today. Not, not to say that I am going to be with you every day <laughs> to tell you that. Not to say that I understand what you're going through, but today I've come here so you would remember my smile. And you'd remember what I said. That you have a choice to either uplift somebody or put someone down. You either have the choice to step towards your goals and dreams or step away going into temporary things. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. When you fail, try again and again and again. I want you to close your eyes, please. If you don't want to close your eyes, that's fine. Just stare at the floor. Don't talk to the person next to you, please. I want to ask you, how are you? What heaviness are you carrying? What tears do you hold back? What pain, what fears are kept inside? You don't have to hold on to those fears. You just take one step at a time. Not to say that one day these fears are just going to completely disappear, but can you forgive those who've hurt you? Because that's when healing starts. Every time someone puts you down, will you make a decision to bring somebody else up? Picture yourself in an open area. There's no buildings and there's no shelter. And there's a storm above you. And this storm represents the situations in your life. And you don't tell anybody what you're going through because first of all, they wouldn't understand. And second of all, they can't even help you anyway. You're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. Are you not still here? You are still here. You don't have to do this alone. 